All right, folks, so I was playing Cyberpunk 2077 the other day. I've been streaming it daily here on the channel, doing a little, like, playthrough, just chat thing. I'm working on some new stuff for the channel, all right? But besides that, and it, it kind of dawned on me about, I don't know, like, three hours in, three and a half hours in, that video games, and specifically single-player games uh, that have, like, a set story and a set path, have so much, so many different ways to be played okay and i've seen like all these videos lately where it's like playing minecraft the way that the developers intended they're playing you know the witcher 3 the way that cd project red the people who make cyberpunk 2077 uh intended and it's like i think it kind of dawned on me that it's just so interesting to me that's why i had to make a video that these games have so many different paths and, and and that no one who plays that game is going to have the same experience as someone else who plays that game and it's really just crazy that like video games are this unique medium of entertainment you know they're, they're not like movies because because video games tv movies they're all kind of similar in the f fact that most of them tell a story you know multiplayer games don't really tell a story unless it's like a campaign like call of duty warzone doesn't really tell a story so much as it just lets the players play although it's still everyone plays that game extremely differently and extremely different levels of competence it, it's just it's mind-boggling but really single-player games that are trying to tell a story you know Classic games, you know, like Skyrim, Cyberpunk 2077, Mass Effect, those games. Um, everyone who plays it is going to get a different experience, and that's because of the way that a video game works and that it's such a unique way of telling a story because, you know, okay, there's a main story in, in these games, right? And everyone's going to kind of experience those main stories the same way in the sense that the ending will be the same although not always some games i haven't played cyberpunk 2077 i mean obviously the ending is probably no but now i haven't seen the ending or anything i haven't seen any of it except for what i played and a lot of games now are actually having different endings based off of choices that you make and and how you play the game from start to finish so they, they, like it's so crazy to me how games are literally giving you your own stories that no one else really had. And even even with those games that are more linear, there is no one that has played the exact same in the sense of, like, gameplay style and decisions that you made. No one makes every single same decision, like where to walk, where to go, what time of day, as someone else. Like, like even this, as soon as you start off the game, you know? With Cyber 2077, there's so many different skill paths and skill trees that you can go into. There's no way that anyone chooses the same one as someone else. It's just impossible. <laughs> the probability there is just just simply impossible for that to happen because there's so many choices you can make. You know, good or bad. You know, some might be like I'm playing and I'm like, I'm literally, have you guys ever looked at the skill tree in Cyberpunk? That thing is massive. I'm sitting here like I have no clue what to do here. I'm like, do I go into uh, this stat or this stat or whatever? And I, I got no idea what guns to use or what weapons to use. And that's great. And that's honestly great for me too. I love that. But it's just crazy to me how so many different people are going to play a game and play it differently even though it's it's the same game i mean it, we're all playing the same game we're all playing cyberpunk we're all playing you know these these games skyrim uh, you know i pick skyrim a lot probably because it's my favorite game ever but we're all playing you know the witcher 3 we're all playing these games but we're all having such different experiences and it's just so cool to me how a video game can give that to you you know and also from this is also another thing i'm playing on like very hard and it, it's just crazy how even the difficulty will change how you probably are going to play the game. Like, if I was playing on easy, I wouldn't really give a crap. I would just run through everyone. It'd be kind of boring, too. Uh, that's another video I'm probably going to make about difficulty in video games. In my opinion, I think the developing world should start to realize that easier games that are just story-based, I, at least personally, believe aren't as... That, I mean, that's why you, you give different difficulty levels, so that everyone can enjoy the game, everyone can enjoy the story. We can all play and have fun together, even if it's a single-player game. We can all at least experience it and complete it, but it's it's a lot more fun to be challenged at games. That's why multiplayer games keep bringing you back because you keep on trying to do better at the game than the last time that you played, and and trying to beat more people that day, and you know kill more people or or whatever. Like in Warzone, you know, win more games, and you're always testing yourself against other people in the world. And you're like, oh, am I better than them or worse than them? It's really fun to be better than a lot of people. At least for me, I'm, I like to compete. Um, but and then in single player games, it's great too. That's why I play on hard, the hardest difficulty most of the times. So, getting off of that tangent, back to the thing here, but it's really crazy, it's like, in a game like Cyberpunk, I love how you can do, I love, like, those, those classic, like, fantasy role-playing, like, things, like, 
you know, a rogue and sneaking and a thief and then like magic and, you know, cyberpunk, you can't really have like magic, but you could go like full on tech or, or full on hacking and, or you could go like full on mech suits and armor and stuff like that. But it's just, it's just so cool to me how, how video games let, let you just be who you want to be. You know, it's like that game, ready player one game. That's not a game. It's a movie. Uh, about the coolest video game ever where, where you can be whoever you want to be like in a virtual reality world that i mean i'm pretty sure it's impossible for gaming to ever get to a point like that but holy crap it would be absolutely awesome if it ever did i would absolutely be all in on that but yeah vi like the video games letting you make all these choices and decisions and uh, impacting the endings of stories is even cooler it's just such a cool way of telling of, of storytelling it's, it's a new inventive way of storytelling you know we're always trying to innovate movies television uh, and storytelling mediums, and I think video games are are on the rise in that sense that more people are like, hey, you can tell really unique stories that only video games can tell, uh, and that movie and TV simply can't because everyone does get the exact same. At least you know you're gonna have a different reaction to it, but everyone gets these. If, if you go watch, you know, a movie, you go watch the new Wonder Woman. Everyone's watching the same exact thing on the screen. Okay, we're all seeing it, we're all hearing it. Apparently that movie sucks, by the way, but that's never seen it. Can't can't you know can't talk about it but um we're all seeing the same exact thing if you the second like literally 10 minutes into a video game if you put two people next to each other if it's a single player game maybe not 10 minutes because this tutorial might be like pretty similar but like 45 minutes in they're gonna be doing probably pretty different stuff already and experiencing different things and seeing different things and having completely different stories told to each other maybe because that's the whole thing with like side quests and such like there are so many side quests in Cyberpunk. There's just so much damn things to do in Cyberpunk. It's like, that game overwhelms me a little, honestly, when I'm playing. You guys can come check it out on, on streams. I'm streaming daily. But I, I like don't know what to do at times. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll just do the, the main-ish story, which I don't even know. Is it the main story? I mean, I'm kind of like, just start the game. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? And it's just so cool. You can do whatever the heck you want to do, you know, in, in this medium. And learn these different little, little side stories and little quests that will affect you differently and at different times maybe than someone else. And it'll be a different experience for them due to also gameplay. I mean, the gameplay is so much different every single time that you, you know, are shooting someone and attacking a situation differently. It's it's really fun. It's It really is fun <laughs> that you can do things your way. That's the beauty of video games, people. Everyone can play how they want to play. That, that's, I think, the, the best part about video games, in my opinion, is that you can play exactly how you want to play. I mean, you, you can be you, as they say, which is awesome. I think I think it's awesome because you could just you could pick your skill. I'm more of a sneaking guy. You're gonna see if you ever watch my cyberpunk thing. I'm probably going a lot into stealth heavily and silence weaponry and maybe the blades because those things look freaking awesome. I don't know how you even get those, but I, I want one. And it's just it's just so interesting to me that like your my friend is doing this thing and he went this path and I went this path and and you know different genders or different you know stories there and. Just such radically different experiences in the same medium game. And it's just so cool how they're able to accomplish that. I don't know. I'm just like kind of a kind of a geek for it. I don't know. I, I really was very interested in that. I just kind of kind of dawned on me when I was playing Cyberpunk. I was like, whoa, this is really, you know, video games are so unique. I think that's one of the reasons why I love them so much and why I keep coming back to, to playing them is that I freaking love that the fact that I can have different experiences every time I play the game. And it's, it's also very interesting to me to play a game. You know, it's like single player games, the replayability is not as high as it is for a multiplayer game because a multiplayer game literally every day, every single minute that passes is a different experience than the last minute that you had. Um, and you could be like replaying parts in a, in a single player game and it could be very similar. If you keep dying, you know, you're playing like a really hard game like Dark Souls or something. And it's just really interesting to me that even in a single player game, they're kind of the, the, the video gaming world, I think, is trying to innovate into a way that they could make it so that you keep having these different experiences. And I think Cyberpunk probably achieved that because if I played Cyberpunk, I could play it like 20 different ways. I probably wouldn't want to because I, I would probably get bored at that point. But you could play that game so many different ways. Like the new Assassin's Creed, you don't have to just be an assassin in those games anymore. Yeah, you're an assassin with a story, but you can be just full on screw stealth. We're going in balls to the wall i mean you can do that now you know what i mean skyrim you know the, you could be mages in games and archers and it's stealthing and rogues and things okay it's just really cool it's just really really cool that they are starting able to achieve they've been able to achieve that for a while but 
now there's just the the breadth of it is just insane to me how freaking different these these games and experiences are becoming and it's just i just had to talk about it. i want to you know just wanted to have a little a little chat video with you guys i think i've been doing a lot more of these probably doing like one daily just kind of talking about video games in general my thoughts on things i don't know it's just it's fun to me to talk about things like this i really really enjoy it i would say i uh I have a good time. I have a good time just kind of sitting here and chatting. I do this on stream too. So you gotta come hang out on streams, kind of like, kind of like thoughts while playing video games. <laughs> it's it's a fun experience. I don't know. We're like I'm looking into some new new avenues because playing Warzone and doing really good at it and dominating is really fun. But the, the, that game kind of took a dump. I don't know. Just the meta changed. I don't want to get into it. But I'm kind of you know testing my feet in in new waters, so to say, and kind of trying to figure out what I really enjoy doing. And I think I enjoy doing these videos more where I just kind of talk to you guys and, you know, we're going to do some some gaming ones where it's like things are happening and I'm not talking and I'm, I'm playing the game, but maybe we'll be chatting. I don't know. We're looking, looking at new things, new horizons, looking at new stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little <laughs> chat rant. I don't even know what it was about video games. Uh, I just wanted to talk about how... You know that I've seen a lot of these intent how it's intended to be played videos, and it's so cool to me that it really isn't intended to be played in any way. Um, video games are just kind of meant to be experienced the way you want to experience it. Yeah, I mean, I guess d do developers intend for you to play it a certain way? I mean, maybe I guess they kind of clue you into certain paths, like for Skyrim, you know, there's like the classic dude on the front cover. Or, I don't even know if that's the front cover. I think it's the front cover. No, the front cover's like that little thing. But there's like that picture of the dude with the horned hat and all iron armor. And he's like kind of got a shield, I think, in one hand and a sword in the other. And they're kind of like, oh, you know, do this path. But I don't know. I think they kind of just meant for you to do any path. And that's why there's so many different side quests for different factions in that game. That you can you can really do any path that you want. And that's what I love. I, I love being able to choose what I want to do. And I should probably start doing... <laughs> more than just sneaking stealth route but i just enjoy it so much like, like for me it's like every game i play it's like i want to stealth because i love it i have fun doing it um other people don't they think it's boring but i don't know i just enjoy it i don't know why i enjoy it but i do so i keep doing it but i, I don't know guys this is this was a uh, a ranty video it was about we talked about something okay we accomplished something here i don't know i like doing these videos i don't know but yeah that's gonna do it, guys. Please like I do a lot of things. I love you. Check out the streams on Cyberpunk, and check out more videos like this. We're gonna be looking into. We're gonna be looking into stuff. I don't know. All right, it's weird. It's a weird world out there. I like I, I like talking about things. I think that's I think that's what I've realized. What I'd like to do. I like to talk about things and play video games and talk about playing them. And I will get my friends in here. We can talk about stuff and it'll be fun. So that's basically that. Thanks for watching, guys. I already did the outro. Intro, what's even happening? Goodbye. <laughs>